Every year, 250 refugees arrive in Twin Falls. But the resettlement program is now at the center of a firestorm, and some are calling for it to be shut down. All sparked by the sexual assault of a young girl. Morgan Wagner talked to its director about the fallout. She's been on top of the story from the beginning, and she joins us live in the newsroom with an update. We heard the fear and anger earlier this month, Brent and Natalie, as residents spoke to their city council. The man in charge of the resettlement program has heard the same worries and even some threats, but he believes most of the backlash is coming from people who don't even live in the area. It, it is sad. It's sad. I'm also upset. Anybody can be upset on an incident like that that happens to someone, but, but at the same time, it is not fair to generalize. This is the place, Fawnbrook Apartments, where prosecutors say three boys were involved in the sexual assault of a five-year-old girl. They were discovered by a neighbor in this laundry room. Two of the boys are from Sudan, one from Iraq. The prosecutor tells us the Sudanese boys were refugees that have been living in the city for a year and a half or more. But the director of the resettlement program, Zeze Rasama, says he can't confirm if they came through his center. They have not disclosed the names of uh, uh, um, those refugees that were involved. So I, I don't know. Um, they have not come to me for uh, any type of, of, of help. Rasama says the center has received angry calls and some people are demanding that city leaders shut down the refugee resettlement program. Still, he says that's a very small group. Overall, he says the community remains supportive. So none of your partners or anything have pulled away from the program? No, 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 no. So the partners that um, we um, uh, are helping us to resettle refugees and provide services to refugees, um, they, un they understand better the refugees. They are with them all the time. They know who they are. They know that these are good people. Less than 1% of refu refugees are accepted into the resettlement program, and those who are accepted go through an eight-month orientation process where they're required to learn English, get a job, and learn how to drive. Live in the newsroom, Morgan Wagner, KBOY 2 News.